Okay, War Machine and Hordes fans. This week out we have Reckoning, the latest installment from Private Press in the storyline for uh, War Machine. It's a pretty good book. Um, it continues on the storyline of the nations of human allying together to fend off the Crixian Empire and their advance on the mainland. Uh, as you can see from this picture, you've got the Negra, the Wraith Rich, flying on her uh, steed, I guess? Flying dragon undead thing. Uh, with Sokova and her two uh, fell guard trying to defend her against her. There you go. Some really nice artwork from Bride to Press as usual. So, yeah. It's pretty good. So, as usual, go for the book quickly. It's 104 pages. Uh, including story and uh, paint guides. You, know, you get your usual fluff. Awesome picture. To butcher a card off. Oop. So you got asphyxious in the corner there. It's not bad. Like the usual fluff. In here you get your uh, Cephalix forces and um, their rules for being used in War Machine. Uh, they originally came out as a separate book, um, but only online. Um, now they're actually in a normal War Machine book. So you got your Cephalix rules. You got your theme forces. You know, uh, Prime, Major Prime Victoria Haley. Uh, you got some good uh, theme forces this time around. Very decent. Uh, two Cephalix casters. You got their theme forces. Fexus we already know about, and Siphon's a new one. Then you get into your individual. Uh, areas of story. So yeah, Signar with uh, Major Prime Victoria Haley. Haley is one of my favourite casters in the, all of the game. Uh, so it's nice to see her getting a new version. And then you've obviously got like all your different jacks and everything. Uh, Hurricane, which is awesome. Each of uh, the main factions gets another Colossal. Um, Mercenaries didn't, but they already had two. So. Uh, now everyone's on equal footing. I'm really, as a, as my main army being Legion of Everblight, I'm really looking forward to see what the Blightbringer does. Seeing the concept art seems really good. But back to this book. Yeah, you get your usual storyline, you know, each unit. Uh, each of the factions gets their units and details, all their fluff. You know, new Sokova, she's pretty cool. Uh, you know, all the new Jacks and stuff for uh, Cador. You get your Cricks. And again, you get your storylines, you get your, you know, amazing artwork. You know what I mean? Some really good stuff. Uh, I think Pride Press is doing really well. Um, they're getting a hell of a lot better. Um, it's nice to see, you know, each of the factions getting some love. This book was a very good book, I think, for every faction. I don't think any faction really got, I think, terrible. Other than maybe Mercenaries got a bit stumped out. But, you know, everything has its uses. Um, I think people just need to figure them out. You can fix this again. Here's a Cephalax for you. Cephalix, Cephalix? Never know really how to pass these guys. But, you know, got units that you've seen for a little while. Um, but this is like their, their proper book for it. You got your Swamp Gobber, Swamp Gobber River Raiders. They're okay, but I don't know. They don't work for any of them, my ones, so doesn't really bother that much. You got cool Devil Devil Shadow Mutineers. They're pretty cool. The uh, Hammer Force Hammer Four Siege Crawler. It's pretty cool. Although, how does this thing speed five when it has these dinky little legs? I'm not quite sure. Uh, yeah, there you go. Usual, quite high quality from Private Depress as usual. Um, you know, you get good painting guys and everything. You know, how to paint the Negra's flesh. You know, the, the flesh of the creature she's on. How to do the Moros scheme. Which I know one of the, our local Retribution player, uh, Lee, is trying to do on his stuff. So that'd be nice for him to see that. Yeah, back into the fluff. You know, the usual, what you can expect from Brad Debress. All good stuff in the end. And then, yeah, let me get to the end. There you go. Yep, so 104 pages. This is a soft cover version of it. Um, very good books from Brad Debress, and they're only getting better. Um, well, yeah, I think I'm looking forward to the future. Well, cheers, guys. I'll see you later.